All right, so here we have two pulleys uh, with radii 0.3 and 0.4. So notice that this one's a little bit smaller. So R1 is 0.3 and R2 is 0.4. Attached as shown, a light cable runs through the edge of both pulleys. Light means the cable has no mass. Runs through the edge of both pulleys. Um, the equation for connected pulleys um, when they're not uh, when they're fixed in place is that R1 omega 1 R2 omega 2. So we're supposed to use R, which is the distance to center. Now, when it says that the cable runs through the edge of both pulleys, the word edge here tells us that the distance to the center in this case happens to be big R, the radius, which that's what's going to be most of the time, okay? So if you're not sure, you can um, pretty safely guess that that's what it is, uh, but the problem should tell you, okay? So that means I'm going to have big R1, omega 1, big R2, omega 2. Um, it says you pull down on the other end, causing the pulley, the pulleys to spin. So if you're going to pull down this way, this guy is going to spin with omega 1, and this guy is going to spin with omega 2. And then it says when the cable has a speed of 5, what is the angular speed of each? So when this cable has a V equals 5, what is omega 1? And what is omega 2? Okay? And what I want to remind you is that the velocity here is the same as the velocity here, which is the same as the velocity here, which is the same as the velocity at any point here. So we can write that V cable is vt1 vt2 so v cable which is 5 is what equals r1 omega 1 and equals r2 omega 2 okay and that's what we're going to use to solve um, this question so if i want to know what is omega 1 i can look into this part of the equation right here okay so to solve for omega 1, I'm going to say 5 equals R1 omega 1. So omega 1 is 5 divided by 0.3. And 5 divided by 0.3 is 16.7 radians per second. And to find omega 2, same thing. 5 equals R2 omega 2. So omega 2 is 5 divided by 0.4, which is... Um, 12.5 radians per second, okay? So that's it for W, w2, uh, W1, W2. Um, the key point that I want to highlight here, the key point that I want to highlight here is that not only are these, um, these two velocities the same at the edge, which allows us to write that R1 equals R2, but also that they equal the velocity of the cable that pulls them. That's what's special about this problem. It's this blue piece right here, that it equals the velocity of the cable as well, okay? So please remember that just in case you see something like it. All right, so that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.